It was a trial that had planned to have 235 participants and randomized in a two to one ratio, women to either scalp cooling or control. And we had a pre-planned interim analysis after 142 women were evaluable for the primary endpoint, which was hair retention after four cycles of chemo. And so when the interim analysis occurred, the study was stopped early because the device was so effective in retaining hair. So in our study, in the analysis presented today, there were 95 women who received the scalp cooling device and 47 women who were on the control arm. And the results showed that 50% of women who received scalp cooling retained their hair and 0% of the control arm retained their hair. There are another 60 women that were not included in this analysis that will be part of the final analysis. The biggest message is that scalp cooling devices are safe and they are effective and I hope that they become available to women everywhere.